Damos un fuerte abrazo al cielo al gallito Quirino Junior y fuerte, fuerte abrazo a la familia Quirino. Ahora bien, damas y caballeros, prepárense. Toscano Boxing Promotions y VIP The Best in Boxing presentan este encuentro pactado a tres rounds de exhibición en la categoría de peso pluma. Three rounds on exhibition bout in the featherweight division. Dos leyendas que se vieron las caras hace 25 años, 25 years ago in the making. These two great Mexican legends saw each other. And now it's time to take care of business. Ahora en esta noche, 25 años después, van a terminar de arreglar los asuntos en el cuadrilátero. En la esquina azul, in the blue corner, we're in the Mexican colors, green, white, and red. En la esquina azul, con los colores mexicanos, verde, blanco y rojo. Él es un dos veces campeón mundial del CBB. He's a two-time WBC world champion in 55 professional bouts, 49 victories, five defeats, one draw, and 33 of those victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un récord de 49 victorias, cinco derrotas, un empate y 33 de esas victorias por la vía del knockout. El orgullo de la perla tapatía de Guadalajara, Jalisco. Damas y caballeros con ustedes, Alejandro Cobrita González. And his opponent across the ring in the red corner wearing red trunks with white trim. Y su oponente en la esquina roja con pantaloncillo color rojo con blanco. He's a five-time world champion, cinco veces campeón mundial de la OMB, la FIB y el CMB. He is a WBO, IBF and WBC former world champion, standing with 84 professional bouts, 67 victories, 16 defeats, one draw, and 32 of those victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un record de 67 victorias, 16 derrotas, un empate y 32 de esas victorias por la vía del knockout. Originario de Tecuala, Nayarit, avecindado en la zona norte de Tijuana, Baja California. Damas y caballeros, con ustedes el galán de galanes. Manuel Mantecas Medina. Y con las indicaciones finales, su referee, Juan José Ramírez. No tengo que decirle nada, vamos a hacer una bonita pelea. Cuidado, cuídense de los goles. Vamos a tomar la foto. Pablo Flores. Ring announcement. Ring announcement. He's one of the best, man. Absolutely, man. Right up there. Let's throw him in there with Michael Buffer and Jimmy Lennon. Jimmy. Michael who? <laughs> Michael who? We got Mexican James on here. Yeah, there you go. I like it. <laughs> and oh, and man, real, I'm excited. real quick, guys, a shout out to our friends at the Modesto, California Police Department K-9 unit, Mr. Nick Largent and his team tuning in tonight. Thank you for what you do. And we support our blue. Señores, ¿estamos listos? As we begin our exhibition bout between Alejandro Cobrita Gonzalez and Manuel Mantecas Medina. Guys, this is what I was looking forward to this whole week, man. I'm excited about this. This is super cool, man. I'm excited. The kid the, that loves boxing is, I'm, I'm with the biggest smile on my face right now watching this yeah two man i mean this is fight. what we do man this is cool man i, I like it this is for the, the small gerardo in me yeah the little fanboy coming <laughs> out of me as well don't worry about it as we see mantecas throwing that uh, jab right hand filling each other right now keep in mind folks this is only a three rounder so we must see intensity any second now Good yeah. pace by both. Yeah, we'll see where, where that intensity that, that Alejandro Cobrita Gonzalez was talking about. He he wants to avenge that, that 1995 loss. I was nine years old, still going to piñatas. <laughs> Dylan, were you even born? I was not. No. <laughs> you, you were, were watching it from the sky, brother. 
I, I was not born yet. <laughs> I dislike you, Dylan. <laughs> I dislike you and your. Wait, September 1995. That's my birthday, man. Yeah, I was born. <laughs> you were you were coming I out. I was born. You were coming out of the womb. I was I was alive. <laughs> I envy you, man. I don't. <laughs> and and, and real, as my uh, vintage co-hosts here are uh, <laughs> talking about the the fight, these guys have not stopped working. Not at all. They are both champions. As as big and as as the, uh, as, as as the big <laughs> as they come. Fuera, 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 They're fuera, both huge fighters. Segundos. They're both legends. Yeah, you know, Manuel Mantecas, I've actually had the pleasure of meeting. He's very active here in the amateur boxing of Tijuana, Baja California. He's in anything boxing. He's he's there. He's present. This man loves the sport. Yeah, th that's one thing uh, that we touched on earlier, Dylan. The fact that I recall when when I was coming up um, in the in the early on professional ranks, I would see Mantecas Medina pretty much at, at most of the gyms. He just likes hanging out around boxing. Uh, some of the amateur events too. He was there. He loves boxing. That being said, um, what I wanted to share with the public, um, and I shared it with you earlier too, Dylan. Um, if you don't remember watching the fight between Alejandro Cobrita Gonzalez and undefeated 41-0 Kevin Kelly in 1995, Cobrita Gonzalez took the WBC title from Kevin Kelly and one of the best fights I've ever seen in my life. I recently saw it again on YouTube. Oh man, that's the epitome of a championship fight, man. Cobrita Gonzalez drops Kevin Kelly, pouring it on. Kevin Kelly comes back, drops the challenger. And soon after, Cobrita Gonzalez just takes over. He's too much, too young, too strong for Kevin Kelly and they stop it in the corner. Man, or spoiler alert, right? But it happened in 1995. It was a very good fight, very good fight. Yep. We have good pressure going on by Mantecas, keeping that jab active. And, and that's kind of something that, that, that we saw in his, in his fight where he won the WBC title in a close contention against Alejandro Cobita Gonzalez. Just kind of like the herky-jerky pressure, moving, moving his hands. See how, see how he's just kind of moving. Side to side, in and out. It confused Cobrita Gonzalez in 1995, and it seems to be confusing <laughs> him here as he as he comes forward. Does Gonzalez with the one-two? And my. Mantecas Medina, the, the older of the two by a year, but he still has pretty much the same style he had it in his youth. You know, just moving, moving, footwork, footwork. And Gonzalez doesn't seem to have that little pep in his step that he had, you know, like I said, when he knocked out Kevin Kelly. Yeah, I love uh, how the footwork. Oh, there you go. Ooh, left hand. Nice shot. Hard left hook there by Corita Gonzalez. And maybe that's a tone setter for the third round. Going to come out and and put on put in a little bit more work. And as you guys could see in the corner. Alejandro Cobrita Gonzalez. 41-0. Former world champion against multiple time world champion, Manuel Mantecas Medina. As we enter the third and final round of their exhibition bout, it doesn't seem as though Alejandro Cobrita Gonzalez has gotten that thorn out of his side yet. As in my opinion, Mantecas Medina 
Whoa! What was that? And I believe that's going to be ruled a slip, even though a shot was landed. A shot was landed. We don't count. Ooh, this is it, Chris. We don't count knockdowns and exhibition bouts, Gerardo. Don't get too excited, sir. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, this is a small <laughs> kid in me who doesn't know a thing about boxing rules. And, and like I mentioned earlier, it seems as though Mantecas Medina has, has more of that style and that energy that he did in his youth. Oh, it's such a pleasure! To, uh, it's such a pleasure to watch him fight. It's yeah. such a pleasure this to watch cool, him. Man. Uh, uh, this Changing is cool, man. Changing levels, you know, throwing to the body, then coming back to the face. This, this is uh, this is amazing. And Cobrita Gonzalez is gonna eat this again, and fly all the way to Guadalajara, Mexico. Pissed off that he can't beat Mantecas Medina. Even though we're not scoring, Dylan, we're not scoring. We're not scoring. But I think the, the, the fans, you guys have eyes. You guys can see who's We're not getting. scoring, man, but we're all winning right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool, man. We have the chalupa meter, and it's, and it's hot right now. It's it hot. 150 chalupas for this one. Do you want to tell them, Dylan, or, or should I? That, that's not going to stick. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's uh, let's see the fight fans and the, the fight public. fans. You, you be the, the judge. Chalupa, the chalupa, the chalupa meter. meter, man. I'm down with the chalupas, man. Put the There's meter on the screen. Put the meter, Put the meter on the screen. We don't have that technology yet here <laughs> in bestinboxing.com. No, 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 no. Limpio. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh. As we close the third and final bout, once again. Very cool to watch these two veterans, you know, go at it. Yeah. Nice and easy. What that was? That's what that was. Nice and easy. As Gerardo will, will be interviewing our legends, our Mexican boxing legends, Manuel Mantecas Medina. Alejandro Cobrita, man, this this is cool. This was great. This is history right here. Head out of those gonna go up there during COVID. Ramos, 24 and one event, Senada versus Jorge. Damas y caballeros, un fuerte aplauso a ambos pugilistas, a estas dos leyendas del boxeo. Alejandro Cobrita González de Guadalajara, Jalisco y el galán de galanes de Tecuala, Nayarit, Manuel Mantecas Medina.